Today we're going to be taking a look at the best hitch options for your 2014 Chevrolet Captiva. Starting on the top here, we're going to have the Kurt Class 3, part number 13594. Next we're going to have the Draw Tight Max Frame Trailer Hitch Class 3, part number 75556. And the last one's going to be the Kurt Class 2, part number C12095. Some of the biggest differences is going to be our Kurt. Both of our Kurt hitches are going to be a round tube design with these large plates. They're going to kind of protrude towards the rear of the vehicle to mount the receiver tube. We're on our draw tight. It's going to be a square tube design with a flat plate, giving it a more straight design here on our protrusion. Both the Kurt's are going to stick out about two inches further than the draw tight does when mounted on the back of the vehicle. But all of them are gonna be within, below the bumper, so none of them are gonna stick out past the bumper. You know, another difference you're gonna notice is the Kurt and the draw tight are both class three hitches, which is a two inch by two inch design. And our Kurt here on the bottom, is gonna be a class two with an inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter design. Now another thing you're gonna notice different on the draw tight than the Kurt's is on the draw tight, there's a 5 8 hitch pin hole, which is standard. Then we're going to have this half inch hole in front of it, which is going to be for your J pin stabilization devices. We have some other differences that is going to be in our tongue weight and our trailer gross trailer weight. The Kurt here on the top is going to have a 350 pound tongue weight and a 3,500 pound gross trailer weight, which is the amount your loaded trailer will be. Now, if you go up to a Weight distribution, that's going to raise it up to 400 pounds of tongue weight and 4,000 pounds of trailer weight. Our draw tight is going to be 400 pounds of tongue weight and 4,000 pounds of gross trailer weight. Whether you're using the weight distribution or not, it's going to remain the same. Now our class two Kurt, it's going to have a 300 pound tongue weight with 3,500 pounds of trailer weight. These are not designed for weight distribution. One other note with our Kurt class two, is if you're using this for a non-trailer load, such as a cargo carrier or a bike rack, stabilization straps are recommended. Now you're gonna notice all of our hitches are gonna have a nice black powder coated finish. It's gonna help protect them against rust and corrosion and keep them looking nice for many years. And all of our hitches are gonna have this round ring style safety chain loop. So you have plenty of room to attach to your safety chains. Now, if you're just starting out buying accessories, you might want to look at buying the class three hitches because they're more versatile and there's more options for accessories. If you already have class two accessories, then the class two is going to be your best option. Now you can see we have a draw tight mounted on our Captiva here. See how nice it tucks up underneath the bumper. Virtually invisible except for our receiver tube and our safety chain loops. Everything else is hidden up nice behind our bumper in fascia. And it's going to sit back quite a distance, about six inches from the center of the hitch pin hole to the end of the bumper. So that's going to give you plenty of space back there so you're not going to hit your leg on it when you're loading the back of your Captiva. I hope this assists you in your buying decision for the best hitch option for your Chevrolet Captiva. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.